What other game series are you interested in making retrospectives for? When I finally do get around to finishing the Final Fantasy retrospective, I would like to do a retrospective on the Breath of Fire series. I would like to do one on the Castlevania series, on the Metal Gear series. Those are the first three that I've honestly thought of doing after I finish the Final Fantasy series, though not in any specific order. That's just, that's just the order I decided to say them in. But if people honestly do enjoy the retrospective series, I'd be more than happy to have people request different series to do them on. What is the one human quality that you dislike the most? <laughs> this is gonna uh, this is gonna sound a little hypocritical because I've shown myself to be rather arrogant in the past, or I've played myself off as rather arrogant. In all honesty, I'm not that much of an arrogant person. I am my worst critic. In all honesty, everything I do, I criticize horribly as something really bad or something I sh I should have done a million times better, but I didn't do or I didn't try hard enough. I am not a fan of arrogance. I've met way too many people who are honestly arrogant in every aspect of their life. I have one who's a brother-in-law. There's no getting around how arrogant that he is. He was taught in his life that he was fantastic and he could do no wrong by his family and he honestly believes this. I've met girls in high school who were hot and they knew they were hot and guess what? They were arrogant in their hotness. I despise arrogance. Those kind of girls were the guys, or the ones that all the guys were going, Dude, I totally want to bang that. And I'd look and say, I wouldn't want to touch that with a 10-foot pole. Or just like, have you not seen how hot she is? Yeah, but she's a bitch. I don't want to fuck that. I don't want to get tied up or deal with any of that kind of shit. What are your favorite hats? I'm a fan of fedoras. Yes, I know, that's the really hipster thing, and people are like, <laughs> you wear a fedora. That, that, that just shows how much of a tool you are. It shows you no. It shows that you're no more tool than wearing a tie makes you a tool. It's a piece of clothing, you idiots. That's all it is. I like fedoras. I think they're classy. I like the way they look, so I wear fedoras. Ha! It's not because I'm a hipster. Have you ever worked out in a gym during your life? No. I have never worked in a gym my entire life. That's why as I get older, everything I say starts sounding more fat. Because I can't help but pack down the pounds. Because all I ever do is sit in my chair and do nothing but play video games. No, no, I, I do go to a gym regularly. It just, I'm not the most set when it comes to going to the gym. I wish I could go more, but with my family... My kids, my wife, I have a lot of things that are keeping me tied up right now. And working one full-time job in a job that I work at the house, it takes a lot of my time. Why do you try to painfully hard to be funny in most of your videos? Eh, because you're a faggot. I don't know, fuck. I try to be humorous. Get over it. Why do you have a gay crush on Aqualive 2150? Have you seen his face? He's a sexy, sexy man. And he has good taste in hats. Speaking of the devil, given that Nintendo has defended their decision to not include same-sex marriage and Tomodachi life for the 3DS by saying we never intended to make any social commentary, what do you have to say to that? Besides what MLK and Jesus would say, wink, wink. <laughs> I swear to God, that video is going to never leave me, for the love of God. Ah, but... <laughs> but what would I say to that? I have a dream. No, no. <laughs> or hear me and believe. But no. In all honesty, throwing a shit fit over this game and the fact that you could have had two male we care or me's getting married or two female me's getting married in the game because you could, in essence, change what they're dressed in is really really unnecessary in all honesty what they did was create a fix for a known bug in the game that was causing issues with the gameplay they weren't trying to go out and say oh shit well we're letting two guys get married here oh fuck we're nintendo we gotta hide it that wasn't what they were doing honestly i don't think that they need to be land blasted like they have been by certain people of the social justice warrior and special snowflake community like they have in regards to that game it was meant to be a fun way to just pass the time it wasn't a serious gameplay aspect and in all honesty if you want a game where two guys can get married or two women can get married 
Go play the fucking Sims. What is your stance on ROMs and emulation, in particular their legal standing? I use ROMs and emulation all the time. I really do. Because I ain't got the money for it. Now, as far as legal standing, there are certain set legal standpoints when it comes to ROMs and emulation. If you actually own the game, you're allowed to have a digital copy of the game as backup. It's just like movies. And this is how one of my buddies got out of the whole issue of pirating Iron Man when it first came out. I just like, dude, here, borrow my copy of Iron Man, say that it's yours, and they'll be like, oh, well, you got your digital copy, whatever. But you can have a actual digital copy of a game that you physically own. It is legal to do so. Now, emulation, there's really nothing against emulation that I myself have personally seen when it comes to copyright. There's nothing that says emulation itself is illegal. That's why emulators can be freely distributed without any feedback or any issues. But anytime you go to a site that normally says, hey guys, here's our emulator for it, but we're not going to provide you the ROM. You're going to have to find those on your own. Because the emulators are not illegal. The ROMs, if you don't own the actual physical copy, are illegal. Which, as I said, I myself don't hold up to very well. Hottest Disney character. The fuck you on. Holy shit. <laughs> I guess if I wanted to pander to you, I would say Jafar. Yeah, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. You know what I say? Know what I say? But in all honesty, as for hot. Honest Disney character! Holy shit! <laughs> I like Jasmine. She has that exotic flair. Mmm. Bet she's spicy tasting. Yeah! I just said something about cunnilingus. Have you ever seen the movie Mommy Dearest? No. What do you think if someone attacks you for your musical taste? And they're just as closed-minded as anyone else in the world. Your musical taste is your musical taste, and you have a right to enjoy what you like for musical taste. I myself despise things like Justin Bieber, One Direction, or any pop music, in all honesty. Now, will I make fun of your music in front of your face? By God, you better believe I will! And if you have not got the thick enough skin to deal with someone making fun of your musical taste, then, hey, guess what? then it's your own fault for taking offense to it. Now, if they're just making fun of you, yeah, that's no issue. If they honestly are attacking you for it, well, if they're making fun of you, not so much. But if they're making fun of your music, then get the fuck over it. Have thicker skin. Now, attacking you for liking something in particular, unless it's something that's just straight up illegal, say you're going down the street and saying, Oh, no, bestiality! Yeah, they should attack you for that and probably turn you into the police. But as for music, it doesn't fucking matter. Tell people to get the fuck over us. The music I like, you like your music. Let's agree to disagree and shut the fuck up. Are there any celebrities that you have met that is not a voice actor or actress? Sadly, no, because I don't get a chance to go to very many conventions or anything like that to actually meet celebrities outside of voice actors or actresses. And even at the few conventions I get to go to, I'm... So freaking busy working at them myself and holding panels and events on main stage, I hardly ever get to talk to the voice actors or actresses and myself anymore anyways. What superhero do you think deserves a theatrical film? Honestly, the ones that I was hoping would someday get a theatrical release, the Guardians of the Galaxy, are getting just that. They deserve a film themselves, because the Guardians of the Galaxy is actually a really good series. And it has a lot of different roots are a lot of different interesting things that they could portray in the movies and the way that they're doing this movie going by all the production information they're doing it right and I'm really looking forward to seeing it and yes I'm someone who knew who Rocket Raccoon was before Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Do you think Ben Affleck can fill the role of Batman? In all honesty I do think he can. I've seen him grow as an actor. Movies like Argo Look at Argo and his acting in that movie. If he has the right direction, whether he's directing it himself or has a good director directing him, he can do a fantastic job acting. He really is a lot better than he used to be. And people who look back and complain about shit like the Daredevil movie need to get the fuck over it. It's been way too long since that movie came out. People change. Look at Leonardo DiCaprio. He used to be a horrible actor, but look at what he does now in movies that he does. He's one of Scorsese's go-to boys for any movie at this point. Infinite cash or infinite food of choice? <laughs> That's simple. Because if I have infinite cash, then, can I, then I can have infinite food of my choice. Because I'll just buy it with my infinite cash. Aha! Catch-22. 
Are you looking forward to Black Butler Season 3, Sword Art Online Season 2? Black Butler, it'll be... Let me be honest about Black Butler. It was a good series. I won't get that... Don't, don't get me wrong on that. And my friend Emily, you might know her online as Master Emily Chief. Emily is a huge fucking fan of Black Butler. She's a nut job when it comes to Black Butler. But I myself didn't really get into it as much as the other fans of the series did. Yeah, I enjoyed it, but seriously, the yaoi, that is a whole lot of yaoi, and I have nothing against homosexuality, but so much implied yaoi. Really? <laughs> but overall, I would like to see a season three. I honestly think it's a series that was built well enough that it could do well with a season three. Now, as for Sword Art Online season two, I've watched it English and Japanese dubbed. English dub once, which is actually a good dub, and Japanese dub twice. I had been pining and wanting it, Sword Art Online Season 2, for the longest time. I want them to hurry up and get it done. What anime series besides Penny and Stocking do you think needs a new season the most and why? Well, going in the vein of the comedy style animes and more of harame as it were, honestly, an anime that ended off on a decent note but really didn't conclude it very well was Deers. And in all honesty, <coughs> the manga didn't go much more past what they did in the series itself. So really doing another season of Deers is almost fruitless at this point because they couldn't pull a whole season. They could do a couple of OVAs and finish the series, yes, but they probably won't. But I would like to see Deers have another season, even if it was just an original storyline, because it would be interesting. 